to What's Up in Pro Wrestling. I'm Mr. Cool. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope y'all had a good day today. Um, welcome to Mr. Cool's uh, Vlog Live. And um, I hope y'all had a Kentucky. So there's a lot of things that make sense. Uh, but I uh, do appreciate everybody stopping by. Um, this says hi and everything. I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I hope you have had a good day today. And you know this. Uh, yeah, I'm just glad that my just went down. I've been taking some antibiotics, my y'all. So I went down. And uh, thank God for that. So you've been doing all right, Kentucky Ranger? And I uh, just want to say hi to everybody. Uh, yeah, I've been working on my little house. Uh, uh, that's good. Yeah. This weather's crazy, ain't it? That's some crazy weather, I'm telling you. Um, I'm hoping it. Um... Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm trying to work on my. Um... Much time <laughs> trying to and everything and um, to get uh, monetized. I still got a wall. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. Where I live, I live in the southeastern part of Kentucky, and it's crazy. I live outside Hazard, Kentucky. Um, it's crazy. It's what it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get my watch time um, to be able to be on test. At one time, before they changed all these rules, uh, Ranger, the uh, Kentucky Ranger, and uh, I had 10 of them, 10,000 uh, views and everything, but when they changed the rule, went to, you know, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours. Yeah, it's been struggling a bit on it. Yep. Do you live up there in Stanton? Uh, do you live up in Stanton? Uh, uh, yeah, with a natural bridge. Or close to or are you close to the natural bridge? Yeah, my aunt, she lives at, um, she lives in Clay City. My aunt and uncle does. They live in Clay City. When I was uh, working for, back in the 80s, when I worked at MWA, I met wrestling. Well, that's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've been sent a couple of times up there. Uh, do you know a place? Uh... in the middle between oh uh, I live at Weisberg Kentucky um, between Pipeful and Hazard Kentucky a place called Weisberg
Hello, Crom. How you doing? Welcome to the chat. How you doing? I know it. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me a little bit better? Yeah, I know. It's buffing. Yeah. Well, welcome, welcome to uh, Mr. Cole's log. Um, yeah, the weather is crazy. Yeah, it's been crazy. Uh, it's all right. You're welcome. Um, you're welcome here. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Um, appreciate y'all stopping by. Um, it's uh, Whitesburg. It's a uh, W-H-I-C-U, uh, Whitesburg. Well, Crom, where are you from? Are you, uh, Crom... Uh, Crom are you from, um, you from France? Oh, Paris. Okay. Oh, Paris. Okay. Cool. You, um, uh, welcome, uh, welcome to, uh, Vog. Mr. Cool Vlog Live. How's the weather? How's the, um, yeah, how's the weather, uh, uh, Elvin Paris? How is the weather over there? Y'all have any rain, snow, or anything going on? Thank you. Uh, uh, this <laughs> Dougie Rangers, this phone goes crazy sometimes. It makes a boing, boing, boom, boom noise, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I do all, I don't uh, do everything, I don't do nothing on camera and I ain't got to that point I guess <laughs> still got the you know I mean been doing this going on five years I'm starting going on five years and uh, I just do it by my phone cheaper way of doing it, I guess but I've been trying to get my watch time um, and stuff trying to get it improved uh, did you ever get uh, uh, Kentucky Ranger did you ever get monetized Bye -bye. You thank you for stopping by, Chrome. You have a nice day or night, Kentucky Ranger. Did you ever get to Ma's house? You cool? Did you ever get Ma's uh, uh, Kentucky Ranger? Project, I think it was what the movie was called. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
I was supposed to put a little cry in that, but I didn't. <laughs> did you, uh, um, Kentucky Ranger, did you, <laughs> the Avalar Witch, yeah. Did you ever get, uh, did you ever get monetized? I mean, did you ever uh, hit the uh, 4,000 hours in the, um, well, I know you got some, your subscribers. Did you ever hit that 4,000 uh, hours th thing yet? Oh. Oh, so you don't have ads on yours? Is it because of the, the, the friendly thing, the, uh, the kids friendly? I know I got to do sometimes on my uh, I do the affiliate marketing I do that a lot sometimes affiliate marketing um, I do that sometimes on affiliate marketing uh, put on to my descriptions and stuff to uh, try to make extra money that way um, um, yeah yeah, I do. I got my PayPal thing set up on it, um, uh, on my thing. Uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by here on the Mr. Cool's vlog live. It's if you're first time here, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Uh, means a lot to me. Um, I'm hoping the weather is uh, okay there for you all. Uh, I do appreciate uh, the, if you don't care, share this out, uh, the live stream out. Um, and let everybody know that we're on, we're on the hour, hour, more I can talk. Well, mine's professional wrestling. Mine don't hit about kids cause all the wrestling on it and stuff, you know, and violent. I know they, they take kids to wrestling matches, don't get me wrong. But mine is a Pacific for adults um, between the ages 45 and 54. I think it was what was on the audience thing. But now they braised it up on me. Um, Yeah, I know. Well, see, mine is, like I said, though, mine's is, uh, you know, it, like I said, it's wrestling, professional wrestling talk show about the professional wrestling. Um, you know, uh, they have, now they have on the audience thing, they have on it that uh, they changed it. I think it was 18 and 24, and between 18 and 24, and um, uh, 45 and 54, I think it was on my audience, on my uh, YouTube studio, that that's the two ages that they have got me now on mine. Now, they haven't got me back to 13 and, you know, up from there. I'm not doing that content that yet, so I'm, I think I'm safe so far. I'm hoping I am. What do, uh, Ranger, what do they say on your content on yours, uh, on your uh, YouTube studio thing? What does age they
Yeah. Well, see, one thing they should have done, to me, I think, they should have put to the, they had, they started that YouTube channel thing for the kids, channels and stuff, you know, and in some way they got away from it. And I think they should have got back with that, you know, with the, with the kids, um, you know, channel thing with this for the kids only thing. I think they should have done that. But now the creators that do kids show, uh, you know, if they don't, if they put kid friendly on there, uh, they're going to be hit either a fine or if they don't do it. They get hit with a fine, and then on top of that, uh, they can have their comments taken away and the money taken away. Well, the way I look at it, oh, and you know, so I don't play music much online, I try to stay away from music as much as I can. Um, because I do, like I say, I do, uh, you know, the wrestling talk show. When I do What's Up in Pro Wrestling show, uh, don't really play. Uh, the only time I play music is if it's YouTube's music. You know, I won't play outside music, or you know, because you know, like you said, you're talking about copyright. I'll use the YouTube music uh, that they recommend, and that's what I use. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Well, mine's an adult. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, no complaint or anything. Was this is a, um, you know, wrestling is a sport that gets violent, and I do talk about, you know, the matches and stuff and, uh, and everything. But uh, I do pre appreciate everybody that uh, stops by and everything. Uh, but uh, means a lot to me that you, uh, you know, that y'all watch and uh, do appreciate y'all. Like I said, without you all, there wouldn't be, um, you know, my vlogs or my show. And I do appreciate you all um, stopping by and everybody that stops by. And, hits, and don't forget to buy slam the like button down below. And you can follow me on YouTube, Facebook. Um, me on um, yeah yeah that's true yeah I wonder if it's actually like you know PewDiePie and all them I wonder if it's hurt them you know like Logan Paul and you know all the big YouTubers like that I mean it has to hit them a little bit um, I'm not sure you know if it has or not but I say it has uh, you know, like I say, you know, there's other ways that you can actually make money with YouTube. You know, there's, you know, there's other ways. Um, you can uh, uh, call, you can affiliate market. Um, you know, it uh, has nothing to do with YouTube itself, but you can do that. And, you know, um, and, uh, but like I say, I always tell them that, you know, my adult, you know, and stuff, and that's what I do. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's a lot of kids stuff on there too. I mean, not like myself, like I say, you know, I, I care for the adults. And then, you know, like I say, there probably are some kids that watches, you know, but, you know, to me, that's the parents, you know, should be watching the kids too, um, what they're watching, and keep an eye on what they're watching. You know, it's, I know they put the pressure on us. So. I think that, you know, the parents have a lot to do with it, too, to make sure, you know, the kids are not watching stuff they shouldn't be watching. And, um, and like I always say, though, you know, right, you know, I talk about professional wrestling, I don't talk about kids' stuff. Um, it's, it's about professional wrestling, you know, uh, and adult wrestling that, um, and their kids that watch, you know, goes to the shows live and stuff like that. But, you know, I can't, you know, I ain't catering to them. I'm catering to you know, most of the adults uh, because they ranked me on my thing. Uh, like I said, it was 18, 24, and then it said uh, 45, 54. So them two are the what they ranked me. So that's what I've been going, you know, by what's on the um, YouTube studio. Um, as far as you, uh, Ranger, um, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the kids, the kids programs 
the ones that are really having problems right now. And, you know, mine, I kept romance adults. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes you have, uh, there's people in here, cousins up the storm. I've seen some of you. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me about that. My notifications are coming through for some reason. Hello, I'm taping. It does it sometimes. Yeah, no, uh, no, that's true. I don't, uh, I don't do that for, um, like I said, I don't do that for that kind of age, uh, uh, cater to them. Um, you know, I try to keep it up to adults, um, you know, stuff because uh, that's what my tens of, uh, you know, the, the wrestling show itself, you know, because where I used to be, you know, I used to be in professional wrestling, you know, I worked in 12 years. I worked with such uh, greats of, uh, you know, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. I uh, worked with Dustin Rhodes um, in WWE. It was known as uh, uh, Go Dust. I uh, worked with the Rock and Roll Express and them. Um, and, uh, you know, I know Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker. Uh, so I know a lot of, um, in being the business and being a wrestling manager, and I have wrestled. I was the former MW, MWA Junior Heavyweight Champion one time, and also uh, uh, I managed the uh, Tag Team Living Terrorist Mass Men. Uh, they was the MWA Tag Team Champions, and I started to collect uh, back in BCW uh, wrestling. Um, it was called the CWO as the Cool the Cool World or Order. So you know, um, you know. Don't watch shows K uh, K T and PBS. Uh, I was in a movie and as an extra um, with uh, the Wilga stories and uh, and the uh, part they combined and made it was like uh, like um, Fatman Fat Monroe uh, uh, Fat Monroe uh, Night Ride and there was Maxine and so they combined all three of them together. And I was in the Maxine part, and uh, all of it, that was the extra then. And so they combined all three together to make the movie called Will the Story by the, a boy from <laughs> Metro, Metro, uh, Kentucky. And uh, and then the, he met a friend named Maxine. And, and so I was in the scene where she was getting off the bus, come from Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, uh, to a CB call store down in Blackie, Kentucky. And that was. Uh, in a little um, Dodge uh, 1960-something Dodge uh, Charger, and red Dodge Charger, and I was uh, acting like I was getting gas, so I was in that scene as an extra in that movie. So that was kind of neat. It was the first time I ever been in a movie. You know, it wasn't like a big blockbuster, but it was, it was showed. You know, you know through the Sundance Festival, we did get awards. It was showed over in Europe, Russia, uh, all over the place, and. Uh, so it was kind of neat. And that's the first time and the last time. It was back in 2000 when, we, when I was in the Old Stories movie. And uh, my girlfriend was also in one of the sh uh, show too. She was in the um, uh, the Half M. McCoy White Lightning series. She was, uh, she was in uh, one of them. And uh, that was kind of neat too, that she, uh, she got to be in it. Uh, that's actually before I met her. Um, they've been together almost two years, and uh, so yeah, she was in that. Her, I think, with her kids. That was a. Uh, I tried live with air. I appreciate it, man. Body slam it, yeah. Body slam that light button, yeah. Make sure you body slam it. Mr. Cool says body slam it. <laughs> welcome to the welcome our uh, with air. Welcome to the live stream. Um, but no, um, it was it's interesting, uh, you know. But you know, I've when I retired from the wrestling business, it was back in two thousand seven. Uh, I retired. Um, and we have local uh, promotions here: um, Appalachia Mountain Wrestling, of uh, Hazard, Delta Combs, and they wrestle Delta Combs schools. Uh, but now I think Hazard, and then we have the um, where I used to work. Believe, Grass Championship Wrestling L Station down in Paintsville, Kentucky. And then, um, you know, 
MUA up toward, I think, now if I'm mistaken, they moved to uh, Mount Sterling, if I'm mistaken. <laughs> um, I think that's where they moved to. But, you know, I, I have friends different places, and, you know, I'll work with Hillbilly, <clears throat> not Hillbilly, Jim, but uh, uh, Cousin uh, Junior. It was one of the three hillbillies that was in WWE or WWF at the time. And they was um, Uncle Elmer, um, Hillbilly Jim, and um, Cousin Junior. Um, I worked with Cousin Junior for a couple years. Um, he actually lived down towards, well, MWA at the time was headquarters down in um, Jamestown, Kentucky. Um, he lived out a place called Russell Springs at the time, uh, Cousin Junior did. But Cousin Jerry passed away a couple of year, years back. He uh, passed away um, yeah, up in Indiana. I think it was up in Franklin or somewhere in, up in Indiana. He passed away. <laughs> but, but like I say, I've, um, and then also one time I got to manage uh, uh, two other people. Uh, Moondog Spot was a uh, former WWF tag team champions in the WWF. Uh, the Moondogs, and then so I managed. Uh, one of the dangerous guys in professional wrestling at that time, uh, Abdul the Butcher. And he wrestled that night uh, in Franklin, North Carolina, down into down there in a cage match against, uh, he's no longer with us now, though, but uh, Bruiser Brody. So that was all, that was all you know, I've, you know, what you call a, used to be a time or the main so you know i don't brag about it because there's other people that you know better things than me uh, but I, I do thank god for the opportunity that i did have and uh and i was always grew up in wrestling when i was 10 years old and i always wanted to become a wrestler so that's kind of neat too um if you got any questions to ask or anything you know go ahead and ask uh, about the you know professional wrestling thing um you know, stuff, you, you're always welcome to ask. And if you got friends, um, you know, share us out to them. And uh, I'm going to be doing the What's Up in Pro Wrestling. wrestling. Boy, I can't talk tonight. Uh, show right after this live. Uh, so you don't want to miss out. Um, try to for a little while um, and if you have any questions about the wrestling then I'll talk more about it. Normally I just talk about what my daily activities going on around here um, but I'm going to get off here and I do appreciate everybody stopping by. Kentucky Ranger, um, Crone, uh, hope I say his name right, and whoever else is in here I do appreciate everybody stopping by and make sure you but I'm going to get ready to do the What's Up in Pro Wrestling live, and it's going to be coming up next. And um, we'll see you then, and God bless you all for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. This is Mr. Cool said, y'all have a good night. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, yeah, Aaron, yeah. And, yeah, and appreciate Aaron. Thank you there, Kentucky Ranger. And Aaron, appreciate you stopping by, too. So you all... I will see you on the What's Up in Pro Wrestling show. It's coming up next, and we'll see you then. Bye, y'all.